to another iphonenerd.com tutorial uh, today we're going to be covering two things uh, how to get these icons here under your spotlight basically the customization of your spotlight um, also how to be able to search things through your spotlight um, which not only includes the phone but the internet as well um, maps twitter etc um, and we are also going to be covering how to use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a USB flash drive. Um, two very useful things so stick around so you can uh, learn those things. So first let's start off with what we need to modify our spotlight here so it can look like this. Um, at the bottom here these uh, six icons that you see here are my most recently opened applications. Um, this comes in helpful kinda you know most of the time it just looks cool um, so the first thing that we need to start doing by, by doing is uh, going into Cydia let's just let that load up uh, your speeds may vary because I am using a 3GS uh, so once Cydia loads up we're gonna have to add a, uh, a source soon uh, and I will be I will be ha I'll have the source description right on there on the uh, more info tab. So make sure you take a look at that once you have once we have to add this source if you don't see it clearly in the screen. Let's just let's say you reload this data real quick. Okay, we're done now. It takes a little bit of time to come up on the screen. Uh, so the first thing we need to get is spot bright. You can just do a simple search in Cydia for this. It should be there, uh, and you just need to install that. Once that's installed, we need to add a source. So first, you install that, and then you go into Manage Sources, Edit, Add a Source. Once you're at this screen, you're gonna type the following source name: Simple iPhone Repo .com should be on the screen and it should also be on the more information tab uh, right next to right next to this video once you do that you can either select uh, the simple iPhone repo right off of the sources and just scroll down till you find universal search right and you need to install universal search so you can do it right off the source or you can just do a search for it by just ty typing in universal search in Cydia, Cydia boom now this you want to get universal search cracked because this is a paid program um, and this is the free version that's why we uh, had to add that source so you want to make sure you click on universal search cracked and install that one instead of just the plain regular universal search uh, once you do that, it's going to ask you to respring the phone. It might ask you to reboot the phone. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Um, but once you do that, you should have the six icons and you should be able to even search for an address. Let's say you wanted to go uh, to 1089 Ashley Drive. Just making this up. Uh, you can. You can even put in numbers here and call text or you can just do a Google map search for it easily and it'll open up Google Maps for you and basically find the address and directions depending on your location which is actually pretty handy uh, once that's done you don't need to type in the zip code because it automatically puts the zip code according to your location you might want to type in the zip code if you're using a 2G and last but not least using your iPhone as a USB flash drive so we need to go back into city again kinda using this tutorial as a double so that we don't have to uh, upload two or three tutorials on basic things so if you wanna get th the, um, the USB flash drive you gotta go to manage add another source which should also be in the description of this video and the source is apt.dmitro.me once you add this all you need to do is just install this program USB drive you can do a search for it or you can just get it off of sources right there um, USB drive and once you're done with that in my 3GS I had to actually reboot the phone for the icon to come up so 
if your icon don't come up don't panic just reboot the phone and once you do it if you're a Mac user you want to um, select drive plus iTunes and you have to reboot the phone but normally what I do is I I hit edit and I create the disk first if you hit create this you can create the disk of whatever size you want um, well you don't have to hit edit you just have to create disk and create the disk of whatever size you want and once that's done creating then you reboot the phone if you're a Windows user you want to go with drive only uh, and once that's done you just plug it into your computer and this is going to read it as if it were you know a USB a USB uh, hard drive you know one of those portables and that's about it uh, I, don't, I also wanted to inform you guys that nerd load is going to be free to new subscribers there should be a new video coming up on that uh, all the subscribers that I currently have will be able to have to get nerd load for free this is a one-time thing uh, it's gonna be for a month 30 days from the day that uh, the video is being put out and if you guys don't know about nerd load there's gonna be a video explaining everything about nerd load how it works and what it does uh, if you guys have any questions comments or concerns regarding this video you could just shoot me um, uh, shoot me a message or you can email support at iphone com or just go over to iphone com and uh, post your questions up in the, in the forums uh, thank you guys and remember to always visit iphone com